In this video, we're going to talk about another entry in the Make Noise Maths Manual. In this case, it's from page 19, the 281 quadrature mode. Quadrature, in this case, will refer to two envelopes that are going to be 90 degrees out of phase with each other. So we're going to be setting maths up to self-patch itself, uh, and each channel, uh, one and four, will be triggering the other. The 281 in the description refers to the Buchla 281 quad function generator. This shares a lot in common with channels 1 and 4 of maths and was likely one of the main inspirations for the maths module. And in the bottom left hand corner there is a setting for quadrature mode which does exactly what we're going to do with some patch cables which is set two of the channels to be 90 degrees out of phase with each other which we'll be using to adjust different channels on the Optimix. Here you can see the illustration of quadrature mode as it applies to maths. The red curve will be channel 1, the blue curve will be channel 4, the dashes will indicate end of rise and end of cycle. So we'll get the ball rolling with channel 1, it'll start going. As soon as it hits end of rise, it will trigger channel 2. Channel 1 will be falling, channel 2 will be going through its cycle. As soon as it hits its end of cycle, that gate will trigger channel 1 which will then continue the pattern. In this patch we'll be using the maths to control two of the channels of the Optimix, uh, which are going to have different inputs from the DPO. The DPO's pitch is going to be controlled by the Woggle Bug, the Woggle output of the Woggle Bug, which is going to give us uh, some interesting behavior. So first things first, what we're going to do is set up our audio outs. So we're going to take the square wave output from the DPO oscillator A, and that's going to go into channel 1 of the Optimix. If we turn that up, it sounds like this. So the Woggle Bug has the pitch going all over the place. And next we'll plug in the square wave output from oscillator B, put that into channel 2, and that sounds like this. Next we're going to set up maths to be self-patched with channel 4 triggering channel 1 and channel 1 triggering channel 4 and those two will be kind of a set to a cycle so it'll run forever that way. Channel 1 will be the leading wave which will trigger channel 4 when it's only halfway through its cycle. Channel 4 will go through its entire cycle before triggering channel 1 so there's going to be a nice little gap in there so you won't have constant noise there will be a little bit of downtime. For this to work in, in kind of true quadrature mode, uh, the rise and fall settings and the shape settings for both channels should be roughly the same. And then once you get that going, you can experiment as far as what happens when you change any of those settings on one or both channels. So first we'll get the end of cycle output from channel 4 to the trigger input on channel 1. And similarly, the end of rise output from channel 1 into the trigger input of channel 4. And you'll probably have to tap the cycle button just to get the two going. And now if we look down on the bottom you can see that both of the channels are going to be cycling and they're going to be triggering each other. All that's left now is to take the envelope outputs and send those to the Optimix. So now when we turn up channel 1, you've got that crazy pitch sound coming in and out. So we've got the saw wave fading in and out with the square wave coming in shortly after it, uh, which leads to a pretty cool effect. But like I said, I would suggest trying shorter or longer rise and fall settings. Uh, you could do different amplitudes, so each wave has a different uh, overall level. If you shorten one up, you can get an uneven cycle pattern. So that's 281 quadrature mode. Set it up and try sending it to more than just different amplitudes and see what you can do with it. Hopefully this was helpful.